Crystal. We are joined this morning by the CEO of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited, Mr. Louis Lewis. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So my first question to you, we are having a Ministry of Tourism Tobago Roadshow. What is this all about? Well, we are here in Trinidad to promote Tobago. Um, we have had, uh, well, Trinidad is the largest market for Tobago. 60% of our arrivals on an annual basis comes from the Trinidad market. So it's, it's a market that we pay a lot of attention to, and it's one that we want to stimulate. Um, recently, we would have had some challenges, the convenience of getting to Tobago with the well-known issue of the sea bridge. But now that, that has been addressed, and it's now convenient for visitors from Trinidad to get back to Tobago. So we've developed a theme around the title, Back to Tobago Time. You know, we saw Back to Tobago for all the things that can be done in Tobago, for the beaches, for the soft adventure, for romance, for, you know, visiting our hotels and, you know, various properties. It's what's to do in Tobago that's attractive. We are now promoting here in Trinidad this weekend. Wonderful. So what's to do in Tobago? What are some of the activities you'll be promoting? Well, let me take it very wide and broad. Sure. Um, in the context of Trinidad and Tobago, Tobago presents a product offering that um, you don't have to travel many miles to get to. There's the convenience of being able to move with your vehicle, which you cannot do anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an advantage. Um, and there are a, a, a very wide host of things that you can do. Um, if I look at if you look at the the calendar of events, um, there are things that are customized for for families and for couples. Um, there's there are, um, for instance, if you you can you can visit the rainforest. That in itself is an attraction. There are some exquisite waterfalls. It's the longest protected forest reserve on this side of the planet. Not the, not just the region, but the planet. <laughs> you know, it's it's a, it has been protected for as long as the United States has been independent. So, you know, put it into context. It's phenomenal. It's, it's world class. Um, you have the Nylon Pool. That in itself is another phenomenal feature of nature, you know, right just across 20 minutes away from, you know, from, from Trinidad. Um, you have the, well, if you missed the Jazz Festival, um, I think you missed out on something exquisite. Um, it was an excellent show um, put together under, you know, um, strenuous conditions, but an excellent delivery. Um, and if you miss that, I think you miss one of the better festivals within the region. Um, we have the Maypole event coming up, you know, soon. That is somewhere. That is something you know that a family can, you know, can 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 engage in. You have um, the the Blue Food Festival coming yes. in, the Heritage Festival, and that is where we feature the strong history and culture of Tobago being presented, and its world class, um, you know, um, material being presented. So you have a whole list of things going right down to the end of the year that you know people can participate in and come back to Tobago to visit. Come back to Tobago to visit. So this existed some time before. Well, th there is a long tradition of the traded market service in um, Tobago. But because they have been has, we've had some issues with the transportation, yes. which are now resolved, and people were a little distracted. They started to look at other areas within the region. We are now inviting them, come back to Tobago. It's convenient. It's attractive. You have bigger a than that. Bigger, bigger and, and better. better. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I, I took it straight from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the road show, and we also have a consumer show. What is that about? Okay, so last night we had a reception where we met with a number of um, what we consider as influencers. You know, really announcing that we are back and open for business, and it's now convenient. Um, so we are doing some consumer events. We are going to the Gulf City Mall um, today. We'll be there from eight o'clock, well, ten o'clock this morning right through to the end and we are actually featuring we have a number of partners who are with us we have the summer hotels the attractive hotels on the island bed and breakfast property so we cater for a wide variety of interests we also have some of our um, service providers so the, you know the people who do the soft adventure tours and you know the excursions and that sort of thing they are there you can come see, understand what they what what you know what's available get an idea of pricing you know and you can actually make and confirm bookings, you know, right there on the spot. So it's like bringing the market to the market, <laughs> you know, wow. so to speak. Yeah. Wonderful. So that is at Gulf City Mall today, but mm. I also understand tomorrow you yes. have an event at C3. At C3 as well. So this mission is really catering to the to the south of, um, of of Trinidad, and we will be doing one later in the year. And the whole idea now for the timing, it's this is around the time that people are making decisions about how they are going to spend their summer. 
So we are presenting Tobago as that ideal option Wonderful. You know, for your consideration. And the trade and media reception, the road show schedule, when is this? Well, it, it happened last night. Um, okay. Th yeah, so we had the hotel partners and the service providers all presenting their, 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 their products to the, to the media, to the influencers who were at that reception that we had at the Cara Suisse last night. Yes. So that was the intention. Um, for people who were not there, we have actually um, recorded it and we'll be pushing it out through our social media platform so that everybody can get a sense of you know, what's available. And um, it was a very interactive engagement and I think we were able to put together you know, um, a representation of what's available in Tobago. Would you say the turnout was particularly encouraging? Absolutely. Um, it was something that was planned in a very short time frame. We were happy with the response that we got from the market and the number of people who turned up. And more particularly, now we can, you know, present that on a wider platform to, you know, people who were probably not even there last night or who could not make it. They can now have a sense of what's available in the, on the island. How important is this return of the road show and the consumer shows to the economy especially? That is very important. The whole reason why we are into the business of tourism is really for the economic benefit. And um, like I said earlier, Trinidad is 60% of the market for arrivals to Tobago, and that is very important for us. At the end of the day, what the visitor presents is an economic opportunity, as an economic activity. It spurs growth within the economy. It sustains businesses um, from starting from the accommodation plant right through to the supermarkets, the insurance companies, you know, all of those are tied in together as part of the, the value chain of the visitor experience. So it's really for maintaining and growing economic activity that we into this business of tourism. And it's anchored by the promotions that surround it. And this is why we are here now to get that business generating, you know, within the economy of, of Tobago. How do interested persons register for the event, the consumer show, for instance? Well, I know it's today and tomorrow. Has oh. registration closed? Well, no, it's not, it's not closed. As a matter of fact, it's open to the public, and we are inviting everybody, you know, everybody who is available, please come out to the Gulf City Mall. We are there, and you will get a clear sense of what's interesting, what's exciting, what's new, and what's refreshing in Tobago. So we're saying come back to Tobago for everything. Rest, relaxation, romance, soft adventure, burden, sightseeing, everything. We've got it <laughs> all ready for you. Now, I'm sure being uh, this, of course, being uh, now that you've overcome some of the hurdles in terms of the transportation, you said it's bigger and better. Mm -hmm. In what way? What are we in for? Well, what we have done is that we've revamped our approach to presenting Tobago as a, as a vacation option. So we are working very closely with the Hotels Association and a number of different associations, the diving, the burden, you know, um, the, peop the people who present um, soft adventure, um, even weddings and honeymoons. And it's really, you know, presenting this in a renewed fashion because now the, the, the issue of the transportation is no longer an issue. It's convenient. You can come, you can leave, you know, and spend as much time as you would like. Um, so the uncertainty um, has been, you know, removed. So it's, it's re we're open. And um, there's been a lot of training, there's a lot of revamp you know, of the product offerings, and you know, it's, it's really an exquisite product. So we are now presenting that to Trinidad as an option. And the points of distraction, we hope they would put their attention on Tobago <laughs> again. <laughs> Wonderful. Also, uh, before I ask you to give your closing comments, what are your thoughts on the customer service aspect of it? There's always room for improvement. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an evolving process. Um, and even when it gets to a particular level, you continuously have to train and retrain as the world and the demands of the clients, you know, um, um, evolves. It's a very competitive industry. Um, it's world-class competi uh, competitive. And we are moving, we are, we are in an environment where um, third-party referencing has become the norm. Yes. So that you would spend a tremendous amount of effort in trying to attract a visitor. And when you get that visitor, you had better very well satisfy the demands because this person becomes your next marketing op um, tool. Yeah. So, you know, okay. it's, it's that continuous it, engagement and refreshing of your training up, um, you know, um, program to keep you at that world-class level in a very highly competitive industry. So we are doing that and we will continue to, you know, to ensure that we up our game when it comes to service delivery. Wonderful. Word of mouth, the number one marketing tool. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Closing comments. What would you like to say to those looking on? I would just simply like to say, come back to Tobago. <laughs> we are ready, we are open, and we have a world-class product that we are offering you. We, we are looking forward to seeing increased arrivals from Trinidad into Tobago and I'm uh, kind of sure 
the visitors that they will be satisfied. Indeed. Such a pleasure chatting with you, Mr. Louis Lewis, CEO of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us Thank this you. morning. You're welcome. A lot more when we return. Stay tuned.